Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fangirls Assemble. Happy Wednesday. You know, I did realize there's actually extra Sundays this month. Was it because you're gone one Sunday? I don't even remember. You know, I don't know, but you know what would be nice? We're gonna what? we're on right now. We're on Sunday. And then we can just be done for the month. That's true. Next next weekend is Halloween weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, be pretty busy. Yeah. I have I'm, my next week is full of doctor appointments. So I'm just like ooh. To have a weekend. how spooky. Yeah. <laughs> it is spooky. Well, hopefully not I, that spooky. And if the FNAF movie's good, I'm gonna have to watch it a few more times next week. So it only makes sense. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just to free that up. We got this. Um but you know what you can do to free up the money in your wallet. Ooh, what what is what is that? Spend money to. on instocktrades.com for all is your it because of editions. deals? All the deals. Wow. You can get your books up to 50% off, sometimes more, because that red tax sale be popping. Mm -hmm. And they're still adding stuff. You should check it out. Look who's here. Mark and Chris. Hi, Mark. And James. Hi, Chris. Hi, James. Hello. Yeah, uh, in stock trades, I, my order just shipped that I ordered live nice. on the show the other day. Uh, so pretty excited Wonderful. for that. I think mine uh, is so shipping soon. So we love that. And of course, the minute after I order something, I look on what the new releases are. I'm like, oh man, you know, I could use that. Yeah. It happens to me every time. Or I'm like, oh, I forgot this thing I didn't get like a month ago, you know? It's rough, you know? Yeah. There's there's just all these things all the time, but that's just how it is. Being a reader, you just uh, never but, enough funds or money. But the good news is you go to instocktrades.com and you're going to get your deals, even if it's like two months, more than two months later. You're like, oh, I'll just go back there, get my deals. You know, and it hurts the 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 wallet a little bit less. Man, Immortal Red Saudi just dropped. The cover looks so good. Let me just show you this cover real quick. Get it. Uh, man, I miss her. I was talking to somebody else about Red Saudi today. Look at her. Look at that cover. Yeah, you need that. My girl. I've missed her. You know, it's been a while. You it's need time. her. Anyways, we're not here to talk about that. Although you should check, definitely check it out, and I'll definitely be sharing my haul. I'm gonna get to hauls and reads. Uh, let's sure? talk. We are still in the Halloween zone. We're still reading spooky books. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about our latest spooky book. Be very afraid of Kanako Inuki. Are you afraid? I know Jessica I put was. this. I was gonna say I, I put this on uh, Goodreads, and Jessica was like, "I'm already scared." So what's cool is, uh, this is actually, an, I didn't know this before picking it up. I was just like, ooh, fun face. I don't look up anything. I'm like, ooh, Japanese manga, it's spooky. I don't know. But it's an anthology of stories by Kanako Inuki. So it's, it says, be for, very afraid of Kanako Inuki. It's this uh, a female mangaka and her, like, uh, short stories. Now, I'm not familiar with, uh, as familiar with the rest of her work, Um I was just looking up, like, when she was primarily, like, is she still primarily doing stuff? Because it doesn't seem like, as far as, like, what we have here, there at, there's as much available. Um, so I'm yeah. seeing a few things, like, uh, something called School Zone. Um, it looks like some of these stories may have expanded into additional stories. It looks like most of this was in the 90s. Yeah. Um. But she did say, uh, I read a lot of all the extra stuff in here, and she did say that like she was very much influenced by uh, like Kazuo Umezu, mm -hmm. uh, who we had just read. Um, it's right here with me. Orochi. Yeah. Bye. Uh, so she was very inspired by his work. She was very into uh, Tezuka, do like Astro Boy and stuff. Uh, she grew up being really into horror manga when she was a kid. Like her parents were like, hey, you pick one series and then we'll give you an allowance to buy it keep going through that series and she could have chosen anything else and she's like spooky books which i appreciate and relate to mm -hmm. um this is a, a very different feel than orochi these are much shorter um they're very silly yeah i i'd say they're less scary than silly so if you're like oh junji ito is a little much for me i feel like i'll these are a lot sillier. And they do all focus on female protagonists. 
and very much like a certain style. So this sort of like this art style you see at the front is very much what permeates the entire book. Yeah, a lot of like very distinct eyes, mm -hmm. like buggy eyes. Um, really weird and kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you want to highlight any of the pages. I've never seen a style like this. Like, not I haven't either. Anyways. It was super. I mean, it it went with the vibes of the story because the stories were weird and this art was weird. <laughs> you know, like yeah, like huge eyes, almost like it's almost like if Tim Burton had a comic book esque. You know, hmm. but like, but mash more with like a like a porcelain doll maker. You know, like it just everything is this like certain tone to it. And you or can like see like up. I think you can see the Tezuka influence, but but she still has her own way of like drawing even faces. They're just oddly shaped. Like yeah, everyone's some of it kind reminded of... me of like Gegaga no Kitara. If you've heard of that, that's another big one. Yeah, very Betty Boop. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Um, and she talked in her in the back about how she knew that in order to really make sure that you're staying, if you're going to be a mangaka for a long time, like you really have to have your own specific art style. And she really did work on that. And that's very evident in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love, I love it. I love the way it looks a lot. I think the art sounds great. Same with like how Rochi's also great. I also loved creepy girl looks. I thought it was. <laughs> there are a lot of creepy girls. That's for sure. Yeah, it's just fun. And they do look very weird. Sometimes I'm like, your eyes are going to pop out of your damn head. Yeah, yeah. Very much that vibe. Um, as far as the stories, I had a lot of fun with them. I would say I like them more than Orochi's. Um, but I think they're just okay. But not in a bad way. I really, I had a lot of fun with it. It was, if you want my real opinion. I, think I want you your do. real opinion. I, uh... <sighs> You know, sometimes we read an Ito story and we're like, I had a great time with that. He didn't stick the landing. That's how I feel. Yeah, I feel like there was something missing. I didn't quite feel that way because I got to the end and I was like, that was the whole thing I read. And then I was just angry about it. <laughs> so that was the issue I was having because I don't think there was any of these stories that really wrapped up at the end. They just kind of abruptly end. Yeah, and I'm like, we're you got to fix your endings. Yeah. And then it became like pointless to me. And I think, and we have to directly talk about, let me let me figure out what, what this one's called. Um, the stalker one? The uh, the Mr. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, where the guy, the that guy was weird. Yo. And I, I was really worried after Girl. saying that. I was like, where are we going with this? I hate I was upset. That was very during, creepy. <laughs> like, that's why I had well, to look that, up. I was like, that one should be a lot less rating than the rest of them. I think I, I read it and I was like, let's forget about it. But it's... So, for context, people in the chat. So, yeah. this book, it's pretty thin. I mean, this is like a very thin yes. book. And she sticks about, like, what, six stories in here? Oh, um, eight? Wait, no, that's character index. Let me see. It's six, yeah. it's Six, six stories. So, already I was like, okay, there's not going to be a lie in here. Right. Because Junji Ito, if we have like six stories, it's still a chunky boy. Uh, but in here, one of the stories, and I think she said right before what was inspired by, oh, it was inspired by the movie The Collector, which is about a stalker. So this young girl, and I think she's got to be like five or six or something. She's very pretty. And like, that's her whole thing. I and think she, she likes to five. bully the, boy yeah. on ca the boys at the playground, like kiss on him and stuff. And she tries to hit on this older boy. And she's like, oh, you can be my boyfriend. You can take me out. And she's like, uh, grow up another 10 years. No. But she talks it. She talks this. I think he's a middle schooler based on his like uh, uniform. I think they said he was like 15 or something. Yeah. Uh, she talks. She's like, oh, you can be my boyfriend. You can take me out. And he's super weird and creepy about it. Yeah, really it's creepy, really gross. Which I thought he was even older than a teenager. Not that, I mean, it's both bad. But, like, I thought he was even older than a teenager just chilling on the playground. So weird. Before they mentioned his age. Like, he just looked older. Yeah, super creepy. Super, super weird. Super creepy. And he's like, okay. She's like, I want to get older so I can, like, whatever. And you're, you're going to see. I'm going to be so beautiful. 
and it gives her this growth serum that suddenly makes her like you know a teenager uh but she's still like five inside right and then she just rapidly ages and that's the whole bit basically yeah uh, he's basically like i can help you grow if you're still my girlfriend and you're gonna be you my girlfriend he's very possessive and weird it's very lolita it's very gross yeah. well i mean i think lolita was in the title right <laughs> like, oh, i was like probably i'm pretty sure it was and i was like yikes i was like oh why'd you have to do that and ba basically good. like none of the stories were long enough which is oh problem. yeah it was just called the lolita. art is great the art is great all the stories are too short. Now, I'm not sure if some of these were actually longer outside of this, maybe. Because it kind of seems like maybe there might be some other releases where these were longer, but they are so short. And so not much happens in any of them. It's not enough for you to be scared or, like, to kind of slowly bring the horror out. Um, no, I mean, just to, like, touch on what some of the other ones are about, in case someone actually is interested in this. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's two sisters in one story. Uh, one of them bullies the other sister, the younger sister, and she ends up getting a doll from Santa. Yeah, because her sister breaks all of her toys, so she asks yes. Santa for a toy that her sister won't break. Yeah, and it's a like a replica of her sister. And essentially kind of a voodoo doll, right? Because she starts pulling it, and her sister gets hurt, and it's a whole thing. Um, but that's it. <laughs> like, that story uh, abruptly ends. Well, now it ends in something weird, too. Because she takes its clothes off and wraps it up so if anyone ever takes her clothes off, they won't see. And then, you, yeah, and then you see the sister in the bed with a lot of blankets. And so I was like, is she suffocating? Yeah, I know. I was like, it's it was not clear. Yeah. Not clear. Or the other, what, I already forgot. I read and this morning. The, the, I gotta say, the Lolita story went on way too long. That one was, like, hefty, and I was like, this is not necessary. Um, um, I see. thought the presence one was interesting, but yeah, that's another one that wasn't long enough. Abruptly ended. Um, um, there was the girl who uh, goes to see a therapist and talks about this guy that she loves. Turns out he's see, growing in her chest and she gives birth to him from her chest. I think that one and the blind princess one were the two better ones of the book. I'm I thought the last one was very good. I was like, what am I reading? Like that that's that was my hard thing throughout the whole thing. I was like, what am I reading? And then I get to the end of these stories and there's like no, there's no point, there's no ending, there's no and I wasn't and I was just like, what's happening? Because even when Ito doesn't land those endings, yeah. I was like, I read something interesting. Yeah. But I didn't feel that here. No, I agree. And it made me mad. <laughs> See, I, I'm leaning on a fine rating. Yeah, I'm under that. I'm for sure under that. Because, like, for me, I really like the art. I just think it's fine. The rest I of it. I didn't even love the art, to be honest. It's very distinct uh, in the style. Yeah, I like that. And that's cool. But... <laughs> I just think, and, you know, maybe this is of the time and stuff, too. They just don't, they don't have enough time with it. I think if you're going to do a horror thing... There's a lot to be said. You need to kind of lean on the the drawn out suspense of something. And if you're doing like an anthology, you really want to make sure you're driving home those like um, morals, right? Like the moral of the story and the punishment. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and there just wasn't enough time to do that. There's not enough pages to yeah. do that. Yeah. And, you know... I do wonder, I don't think these were originally published together. So they were probably in like magazines or something, right? That's what I'm thinking. Um, and I don't see much of like what else she's done. Um, that's what's interesting to me because they're calling her like the the queen of horror manga. And I'm like, is it just because at the time there weren't other women doing this? Maybe there's not a lot because I'm looking at even, um, you know, so we see a lot in 90s. Uh, do we? Ha I mean, we have other female horror mangaka, right? Like, I would hope. I feel bad. That I don't know. No. Yeah, and and you know, it's just like uh, Orochi. We have to give something to the time, right? Because like maybe at the time in the '90s, this was very transformative. I can understand that. Uh, at the same time. I think or or Rochi, though, I had issues with that, still kind of did some things better than here. Yeah. Like length, maybe? Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
And and I also understand, you know, if she was putting these in magazines, she probably had a certain amount of pages. But that's where like Ito and people who can really oh, yeah. do short story stuff, like that's where they shine. Because if you can do a short story well, that's, I mean, it well, really gives you away. He can give you four pages and still land it. Yeah, well, and it reminds me of something like The Crossroads of Midnight, right? Yeah. Most short story anthologies, especially graphic novels, I feel like, but I think any short story anthology, you know, yeah. novels or anything, they're, you know, you're not going to love everything. But I have to pull this out because I think about, there are five stories in here, pretty good length. Mm -hmm. They're all good lengths throughout it. And they're all A plus storytelling. Yeah. And those endings hit, right? And that's where this fell flat. Yeah. There's six in here. It's like you needed more or you needed to do it differently. Yeah. You know? yeah. I wish we just had like a, I wish I could just go decade by decade and be like, here's some selections of all the things that were kind of come out at the same time. So I had a better idea of like what's kind of happening at the time. Yeah. No, right? totally. Because I can assume that at the time this was probably interesting, transformative in some way. Maybe no one else was doing this kind of thing, right? Well, and bummer for her, we but, went Junji Ito first. Yeah. We have been for years. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of a like, for horror her. manga cod just don't have a chance. Especially for short stories like this, right? No. Like it's not happening. We read uh, The Dissolving Classroom, which was like this size. And yeah, they were all good. short stories and they were all great. So is the, the cat one. Yeah, the yeah, the cat diary. Yeah, just you it's know, hard. not everybody can be Ito. That's that's the truth. <laughs> did we the... finalize our last reading of the? Month? I was gonna ask. Did, I don't think we did. I think I was looking and we didn't decide. We Should we decide. decide now? Well, if you feel like reading the first volume of Curse Hockey Corpse Delivery Service, I just read it the other day because I I didn't know I was gonna have that show last night until about like. Five. You know what? I could do that. The I wouldn't say chunky. more than that unless you feel like it because it's kind of it's, yeah, it's, it's a little dense too, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you want to read the first one, then read some more next month or something. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. So everybody at home, let me recommend this because I just reread it on Tuesday. That's yesterday. Feels like a million years ago. <laughs> Kurosaki Corpse Delivery Service. This is something that like Chris and I have been collecting for years. It was a big deal because these three and ones, which are great, uh, were discontinued by Dark Horse, but they've been brought back. Are they continuing to be brought back? I have no idea. Because um, we've got five right now mm -hmm. of these. Uh, after reading it thing. yesterday, huh? I think thing? that's the whole thing. Oh, well, good deal for us. Yeah. Uh, so good. Man, it's still so good. This is one like, talk about horror manga, but of course, this is a story, right? So it's, it's continuing, it's not an anthology. But it does feel like a monster of the week sort of format because they are going by like case by case, uh, bringing these uh, these dead bodies, these spirits. They're kind of delivering them to places. They're delivering their messages for them for some kind of like karmic and sometimes financial payoff. This is still so good. And unfortunately, I can't just show it to you because there's a lot mm. of nudity in it. But yeah. I have been collecting since I don't. I think probably. It must be since high school or like early high school even, because I'm pretty sure I, I bought my first one at a books a million. I love that. Like probably when I was 14 or earlier. Oh my God. This is so good. Still. I can't wait to read the rest of it. I'm glad I don't have to rush it now. So I'm kind of mm -hmm. glad the show got moved so I can take my time. But uh, Tina just read the first nine volumes. I saw on Goodreads like last week. So I was like, well, nice. Ah, oh, I'm still so obsessed with these. They should make a show of this. Honestly, it would do so well. That's and, exciting. I, I, I could see it being like a British show. Because it's just like, or like Canadian. Because the cast and characters are so like bizarre. Well, and If you want to get these two last books out of your mouth, like taste out of your mouth, end the month with Kurosagi. I'm going to sure. do it. I think it's a great idea. We'll talk about it Sunday. Um, I haven't, I don't think I ever went beyond that first like chunky yeah. three and one and it's been a very long time since i read that oh so. it's been i mean i read it when i first got it's so like mm -hmm. years ago yeah 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 it's been like so years. that's exciting. oh perfect you'll be right with us then love that oh god it's so good see i can already tell you it's a five out of five i'm perfectly happy with that and i will continue to be happy with love that, that. i'm pretty sure i want more of it 
Yeah. So yeah, comparing if you if I comparing that to those two, like either of those two is just like no competition. Well, and we need that palate cleanser, I think. <laughs> so that'll yeah. be nice. Yeah. Plus, we've been talking about it forever, right? We really have. Yeah. I'm so excited to read it again. It just feels good because I feel like I haven't touched a lot of like spooky stuff. Uh, and hello to you too. <laughs> Hi. I haven't. Uh, I don't think I've read enough spooky stuff this month. I know I've kind of watched some horror movies on and off, but I don't feel yeah. like I've really uh, satisfied that like the spooky Halloween feel. Yeah. Well, I I'm hoping to reread Clementine and get to the second book, which is in the mail for me. So I would like to do that this month if I can. Um, I also think I want to reread Night of the Living Cat because it's so ridiculous. Maddie, I need you to read this. I, need <laughs> I, think, to read you, it. I think you will really enjoy it. It's it's bonkers. And yeah, of no, course, I keep grabbing this because oh, I want to so reread good. it. It's so good. <laughs> I think I have the digital copy of that. Let me check. It's wonderful. Oh, no, I haven't watched. No, we'll see. I know. Um, Slother House just dropped on Hulu. Mm. Uh, I think it's sorority girls getting killed by a giant sloth or something. I love sloths. So I'm going to watch that. Movie. Yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, and then Goosebumps, the TV show just dropped. I saw that. So I, I, I kind of want to watch, watch that. Yeah. Uh, and Elliot, I just watched Fall of the House of Usher. I probably already mm. talked about it. I don't know. It's so good, Kristen. I keep hearing that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Actually, I can't tell you to. Um, there's oh, one no. episode. You can't mm -hmm. watch, okay? Okay. You're just gonna have to skip it. Okay. Um, it's called Black Cat. It's called Black Cat. Mm, okay. So just watch the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. Okay. That's really Black good. Out. All right. I still uh, haven't seen Guardians. Seen what? Because <laughs> I'm scared. Guardians. Of, oh, the galaxy. The yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, watch it at home with some blankets. I mean, I'm never going to watch it again. Well, I, I might. I can't do it for a long time, I think. Hmm. But you know, the mid-December rolls around. Holiday special, maybe. I was going to say, that's going to be like a tradition in this house. It was I, so I'm usually more excited for Halloween than Christmas, but I think I'm so busy right now that I'm just mm -hmm. like, actually, I'm kind of ready. Yeah. Because I don't have anything planned then, so I can just like do holiday stuff and watch bad holiday movies. I'm too busy for Halloween. Yeah. It's a bummer. You know what happens? What are you going to do? <sighs> Be upset about it, I guess. I'm going to go Look, play that watermelon game instead. You know what I'm upset about? Wow, Reed. Could you cough any louder? <laughs> I'll tell him that. He's in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> it's, his, it's his microphone. <laughs> um, where's the Nailed It Halloween special? What's going on? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Because you don't need writers to do that. Yeah, it just didn't drop. I don't know. I was so confused. But oh well. We've been diving into the kitchen nightmares lately. So that's course, what we're yeah. watching. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Just all the Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. I just see the stuff on like YouTube shorts and stuff. It's, it's a good time. Yeah. I've just been trying to listen to audiobooks and then randomly watching like spooky stuff or TV shows, whatever. Maddie. Yeah. When are you going to get Slayers, a Buffy or a story? When I feel like paying for Audible for a month. Listen, it's worth it. Is it good? It's so good. I listened to it all day today. I was, it, made me, it makes me so happy. Like, it is truly, you're listening to a TV show. Like, yeah. it is an audio drama. Like, it, they're reading, they have to be reading from a script, not like a novel. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so good. And there's noises and there's sound effects and there's music. I mean, there's everything. So people in the chat, if you haven't seen this, is like... The whole cast returns for an audio drama. No, a lot of the cast, yeah. 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 Oh, it's so good. It's I think so I want to save it for next month when I, like, have some really chill time. Mm. Like, put it on and clean the house. Yeah. And they're yeah. and they're set up like it's a season, so there are episodes. Oh, that's cool. And that's real nice because, like, it's like, here's a 30-minute episode, and you can go on with your life, and then here's another one, you know? Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, so... I'm also afraid I'll cry, so I just want to give it time because I, I think I'll do that thing where I'm, I just feel I'm in the nostalgia and I'm just yeah. going to touch that it's even happening. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. Oh, that's cool. Uh, there's behind the scenes video about the recording of the drama. I I refuse to watch anything. I don't want to be spoiled. So. Oh yeah, I'll wait till I'm once done. I finish, I will watch that. 
I love I love watching behind the scenes on anything. Like, especially for One Piece, now that you've watched it, whenever you seem to pick me up, watch any of the things about the cast hanging out together. Oh, especially about that. Inaki yeah. meeting uh, uh, Oda. Maddie. Cannot. I, I'm going to watch those. Um, but maybe we need to end this episode. We're, we're doing episodes now. <laughs> With some new figures I got recently. You got figures? I got fi- Listen, they were just like little little mystery guys. I, I had some mystery. second of Charles oh, credit. Me. And I was like, read. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, should I get these one piece mystery figures? Yeah. So you know the ones that are like half skeleton, half. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, these look cool, actually. I want two of them. So, like, Reed picked them out. And I was like, why did you pick perfectly? So, let me, let me see. Let me move them aside. Because I was like, oh, one fell off. I was like, <laughs> who do I want the most from both of these, right? There's two different series. So, I got this awesome That's black and so white nice. Luffy. Yeah. Super cute, and they're nice, and they that's they all like nice. you can put them on these little like things that attach to each other. Oh, that's great! I love this black and white. That looks so cool. So this is like apparently the rare one in the box, or one Hell of them. Yeah. There's like three, um, because the other one's in color. But I was like, this is awesome, actually. So this that's guy's really super cool. cool. And then of course, <sighs> so excited to get a little chopper. Oh, oh. chopper. That's really and, cool. And you know, Reed's watched the season out. He's like, I don't know who Chopper is yet. I was he's like, gonna love him. I was like, I'm gonna cry when he shows up. <laughs> like, I so cannot excited. wait. Oh, I'm gonna so, rewatch it again. I've I'm already officially, rewatched it once. Yeah, oh, I, I want to as well. I'm officially buying merch. Is what I was gonna say. Yes. <laughs> I'm that person now. It's too bad you don't have an FYE because they have some really cool merch from the show. So you can have this shirt that says like it's like the logo for Baratier restaurant and stuff. Oh, that's cute. And listen, if you want to do yourself a favor, just uh, follow Taz Skyler, the actor for Sanji on Instagram. Yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just saying. It's All just right. a lot of videos of him kicking. Oh, okay. That's fun. Just kicking. We and some that. videos of him doing like cool bartending things or whatever. Nice. I just, think, I just think he's neat. <laughs> They're all so cool. <laughs> I know. So good. Well, um, I guess we can wrap up and I can figure out how to play Suika because that's all I care about right now. I need to do something productive. But man, that's what I want to do. Instead. That's productive for your mental health. Yeah. That's treating yourself is what that is. Treat yourself. Yeah. yeah. And be sure to treat yourself at instocktrades.com. Our great right. sponsor. Check them out. Yeah. And we will see you guys on Sunday with Karasaki Corpse Delivery Service, uh, the omnibus one. So we're reading the first three chapter, or first three volumes. So just hang out, uh, talk yeah. spooky stuff. Uh, It'll be great. It'll be great. See you then. Goodbye. Bye.